Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I need to take a shower. I have been deep cleaning the house like crazy today. I am also slowly merging, filming out of this room and moving back into my beauty room. For the past few months, I've enjoyed filming in this space, which is my closet. Freaking love it in here. Lighting is great. I don't even have a ring light. This is just like the lighting from the walls, but I have been ready to go back into the beauty room and we actually have a new build out we're gonna be adding in there. Sometime this month, I need to figure out a day. And I right now just kind of like check the camera with a new with my ring light, make sure I liked it, and it looks so good. So we're gonna merge over there in just a bit. But before I do, I just want to show you guys like the pre look before we get into the glam. If you love a good transformation and you need like a good day night look, definitely keep watching. This is a video for you. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Karen and I am a beauty channel. I would love for you to subscribe down below. I do everything from makeup, hair, outfits, lifestyle, wedding, a little bit of everything. So you never know what you're gonna get. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I love the support that you show me. I love you guys for being here and I'm so excited for today's video. So with that being said, let's get into it. Oh my god, the bathroom is actually the other place that I need to clean. I just realized that I hit my step goal, which is huge. I've been making it a thing to make sure that I hit my 10,000 steps a day. This body cream from Sol J. Hanero is a Bon Dia Bright Cream and it is amazing. I actually like this better than the original one. Same amazing formula, but the scent on this one it smells like a really light perfume and I love that it lasts as well, but it's not like a heavy fragrance. It just smells really good. God, I feel nice and soft all over. <laughs> I feel not what I mean. Another body cream that I really have been loving is from Burst, and this is the Press Restart Gentle Retinal Body Lotion. I saw an ad on TikTok about this, and I was immediately sold. I use it along my neck and chest area. This one does kind of take a little bit to blend in. I have noticed that, but in a way, it's kind of good because you are really working it into the neck. Love it. Love, love, love it. Leave-in conditioner is always a must, and I'm completely out. But I always buy two, so I'm stocked up. This is from Unite, and it is their seven seconds detangling leave-in conditioner. It's been my favorite for years. I recently just took out my weft extensions, so I'm giving myself a little bit of a break. But let me tell you guys, my hair has been growing like crazy. I have been doing a lot of masking, a lot of leave-in oils. I've also been boiling rosemary and adding the water into a spray bottle and spraying it on my hair. So I've been doing just a lot of treatments and I'm doing this so that my hair can be super, super healthy for the wedding. Um, as far as heat goes, I've been doing heat maybe twice a week at the most whenever I'm just getting ready. But other than that, nothing too crazy. Adding a little bit of the glow recipe watermelon glow pha bha pore tightening toner i love just like adding this pre-skin care you can actually take that into the cotton round if you want but i like to just press it in the skin because it feels really good and it does have a really pretty glow on the skin as well okay let's go do this makeup and we will do hair after okay, hello hello welcome to the beauty room first i sprayed on a little bit of the beauty elixir from cuddly and love putting this on my skin let me know if you guys have ever used this product it is an og it's been around for so many years and then i went ahead and mixed two serums i have the Lancome genifique youth serum as well as a little bit of the sanitas vita rich serum and for my moisturizer, I'm applying on the MAC Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm. This skincare line is made to work with makeup. And I have been obsessed with this cream. This collection, I feel, is really going to be a hit this year. And you guys know me. I need to add my eye cream on before doing my makeup. To me, eye cream is so important for your makeup routine. And to me, it lays the products on a more smoother, softer, and hydrated surface. I've been using eye cream for so many years, and I am a believer that this is what has helped keep my under eyes really smooth, really soft. And now we're going to go into a little bit of primer using Miss Tatcha. This is a silk canvas primer. And then I put it on, but I also like pat it into the skin. because We want the makeup to last. So one thing about me, when I go out, I do not like to experiment with new foundations or a new face routine. For example, I have two new foundations that I really want to try out, but I don't feel tonight is a night for me to test them out. One, I don't know how it's going to photograph. Two, what if it doesn't wear good and it starts separating? Three, what if I just don't like it? So I don't like to put my face at risk. So because of that, I'm gonna stick with my NARS Natural Radiance. I have a brush in here because we're out and I'm just trying to scrape everything left. I feel like I'm running out of everything right now. I'm gonna use this little kabuki brush to blend in the product throughout the skin. But in all honesty, this is one of my favorite foundations. I have my other favorite go-to foundations, but number one definitely has to be the NARS Natural Radiance. It is giving more of that full coverage finish, which is honestly what I like, so I don't mind it. But what I love about this foundation is just how my skin looks after. 
Do you guys see that? It's like everything is smoothed out. It doesn't move on my skin. I think what also helps is the preparation of my skin, prepping the skin, the skincare products I use. All that plays a big part into how my makeup is going to wear. And I mean, this is flawless. It looks so good. It's just my ride or die foundation, honestly. I might even wear this on my wedding day, to be honest with you, because I love it so much. And speaking of wedding makeup, I have been getting asked lately if I'm going to be doing my own makeup for the wedding, and I still don't know. I'm 50-50. Pretty soon, I'm going to want to do my own wedding trial on myself. I do know the makeup look that I want. I actually have two photos that I really, really like, so I may just do my own makeup trial and then from there decide. I just don't know. I'm now using the Dominique Cosmetics Concealer another favorite go-to product of mine that i love so much i use the shade oat milk and to me this is perfect it's bright enough the coverage is amazing on this and it's honestly become one of my favorite concealers i'm gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer with my beauty sponge and pretty much as i'm doing it i'm just pressing it in place working up working back working up working back there's still a little bit of like this radiance coming through Ooh. because i am moving the serum around i don't know where a lot of my products are I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Skin HD Palette. This is probably one of the best products I discovered in 2023. So I don't know the name of it, and every time I try to link this or find it online, I can't find this exact one. If you guys can find this exact one, let me know. There's similar ones, but nothing like this. Go ahead and grab these shades from the palette to create a little bit of a contour. The undertones of these shades, the way this product works, I've never had an issue with it blending out on my skin. When it comes to cream products, I'm super particular because a lot of formulas can be a little drying, can skip, can also be a little muddy, especially contour shades. They can run super muddy on the skin, but I feel that this one is just so good. Two options, you can either blend it out with a beauty blender or with the brush you apply it on. I'll show you guys on both sides how it looks. So this is the beauty blender side. Basically, I'm working the product up. Everything with contour, we're working up. And then now with the brush side, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull back and then work it into the skin. I'm doing this because I don't want to lift any of the products off of the skin. I just want to like push it into place. Blend it with the brush, blend it with the sponge. Personally, I'm a fan of the side. I think it looks a lot better on the skin. It's gorgeous. And because of that, I'm going to redo that side. Also a tip when you're doing this, try to hold the brush on the end so that it's light and that way you're not completely pulling the entire product off of the skin. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, chiseled. Okay, and then everyone's forehead is different. Some may need the placement of the contour in different areas depending on the size of your forehead. For me, I like it right in the center because I do feel like I have a little bit of a bigger forehead. So I do this to bring shading, a bit warmth throughout the skin as well. We're now gonna go into setting and baking the skin. I'm gonna show you guys what I love doing now. I'm still using my Laura Mercier Transistent Setting Powder. It is my go-to, but I do set first and then I bake after. So I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless in the shade number one. And the brush I normally use is really dirty and it's over there. So we're gonna use a similar brush, which is from Fenty. And when I set, I make sure the brush is always kind of like uh, a little fuller versus it being, I don't know, let's just say like this, where it's very like fluffy. I want it to be a little bit more of a snatch brush. Before you set your end dries, you're gonna wanna blend out and then from there, go directly over the areas that I highlighted. And you can already see the difference in how that looks. So again, just go ahead and grab that brush. What a difference that makes. The powder throughout the skin, just to do a light little set. Ta-da, just like that. Before I do any kind of baking, I'm just gonna go ahead and add bronzer and blush. So for bronzer, my holy grail, MAC Give Me Sun. I will forever love and use this bronzer. So I'm gonna take this in with my brush from It Cosmetics and just kind of go over what I just contoured to just kind of amplify that up a little more. Do you guys remember the days that I would do my eyes first and I would never dream of doing my face first? Depending on the eyeshadow look, I will do my eyes first if we're going for a heavier look and then if we're going for an everyday look or a night look like this, then I can definitely um, do my face first. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna be using this new one from ColourPop. This is in the shade Sweetheart. These come out during Valentine's Day. They actually don't always come out. They came out once and then I love those blushes so much I still have them and then they dropped a new Valentine's Day collection and they relaunched them again, but now now there's more shades that are a little different and then highlighters, which they're so cute. Going for that pink look. We're actually gonna mix these two because I think it's gonna be a little too light. By the way, the two brushes that I'm using today are both from It Cosmetics. I'm trying to remember to always mention the brushes because I do forget. The It Cosmetics complexion brushes are my absolute favorite. Even my foundation brush was It Cosmetics. Oh no, this is from e.l.f. It was a dupe, but the one that I love is from them. I'm just a fan of how It Cosmetics brushes work. They're so good. 
Okay, then I'm also adding the blush into the nose area. For baking, we're using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, my OG, my favorites. I will forever love this powder. And look, I got the super size one too. This one is huge, but I'm gonna take in my beauty blender, press it into the back of my hand, and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the areas that I set with the powder first. Sorry, also it's barking outside, you guys hear? And then once I get closer to the sides of the nose, I'm gonna take it in on the sides and pinch it in. Although it looks like it's a lot of powder and I look a little crazy, it does not look like this once I blend it out. I actually posted this video on my Instagram two months ago where I shared how I set and bake my under eyes. Many people actually tried my routine and have noticed a huge change in how their under eyes look. So if you guys have been struggling with baking, not really a fan of it, try my routine out and watch that video so you can see it like in a shorter version, but then watch how I do it again on here. So let's go ahead and get into my eye makeup look. I'm actually really in the mood to play with the new Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. This is the perfect palette to use. It's got pinks, it's got browns, it's got glitter, and honestly, I'm in the mood for this color today. It's so pretty. So starting off with this eyeshadow first, so I'm applying it right in the center of the eye and then going back and forth, center, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, and then up into the brow bone. I'm now gonna take in this eyeshadow along with this eyeshadow to create a little smoky effect on the outer crease of the eye. Now we're taking this smaller blending brush and smoking out that liner. I'm still debating if I want to do a liquid liner with this. I guess I'll know very soon, but I mean, just that alone is so pretty. We're gonna grab now this middle color and I'm just gonna take in my finger. Uh, personally, I think it applies on better with your finger. I've been using this palette for a while and yes, it does apply nice now with the brush, but I do think with the finger applies it much better and spreads it out evenly. This to me is also like a great Valentine's Day kind of look too, especially if you just want to incorporate like a little sparkle in the eye, not too much. Do you guys see this eyeshadow? It's so pretty, it reflects so beautifully at night as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Grip Precision Felt Tip Eyeliner in the shade 605 Brown. I just love the definition this leaves my eyelid. I'm taking it all the way in as well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab a business card. <laughs> Any card works for this, to be honest with you. And you're gonna wanna grab a blending brush like this, dark brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Makeup of Mario one. I'm gonna take my card right at the outer corner of my eye and start blending out. And we're basically just going over that liner that we already did. Boom, you see that? Moving now into this mascara from Benefit. This is the They're Real Magnet Mascara. I just pulled out some old lashes from my driver when I popped this on. I am a new person when a lash goes on. I also like that these don't take over my whole eye. The focus is mainly right here. So it really emphasizes that smoky wing finish that I did on the eye. I still don't know if I want to do a heavier and dry, keep it bare. Um, so I'm gonna do my lips real quick. I'm gonna decide what I wanna do with the under eyes. We're gonna do a little pink combo on the lip. I'm gonna use first this Buxom Lip Pencil in the shade Dangerously Dolly formula. And these Buxom Lip Pencils are so underrated. They glide on, has a great color payoff, and they're long wearing. I do wish they had more options in these colors because there's only like five or six that exist. I don't know why I am craving a baby doll baby pink lip. I feel like it's out there in this world and I'm gonna find it, but it's so baby pink that it can almost be lilac, but it can almost be nude, but it's baby pink. I'm gonna also use a little bit of my MAC Cork Lip Pencil to define the outer corner of my lip. We're gonna use a little bit of the NYX Soft Lip Matte. It's, this is really, really pink, but it's cute. We're gonna, we're gonna mix in. We're gonna use a little bit of the KKW Lipstick in the shade 1.5 Nude. They don't make this color anymore, but we're just gonna use this to brighten up the center of the lip. Honestly, you could even use like a really, really, really white concealer, a white base. Uh, if this doesn't work, we might have to do that. Oh, it's working. I'm gonna put on this gloss from Lancome. This is the Marshmallow Electric. That's super pretty. Okay guys, lastly for the skin, we're gonna be adding on this highlight from Rare Beauty. I don't know if you guys saw the drops on these and how these go on, but let me tell you, this highlight is not here to play. It's been a while since the highlight got me really excited, so we're gonna be using this today. I'm gonna go ahead and just add it to the tip of my, like I barely even added anything. Okay, watch this, one little, like, oof. same brush, not re -dippy. Honestly, I'm gonna grab a small pencil brush and then add this to the inner corner of the eye as well. That extra little pop. 
Are you kidding me? I gotta blow this too. The formula on these highlights are some of the best I have felt in a very long time. I feel like I don't bathe myself in highlight anymore like how I used to. It's just kind of a little bit on the skin, but I am actually excited for highlights again. I think that the formula on this is really nice on the skin. I've seen this in person on other people and it looks so good. So I'm, I'm here for this. I'm here for the highlight life. I'm gonna add a little bit onto the cheeks for that lit from within glow. And then just slightly move the product around. Because we are going to concert tonight, we do want the makeup to last. So we're gonna spray on the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Let me just get into this look. The eyes are so cute. Honestly, I'm a fan of like the glitter on the eyes trickling up. Before, I was like, no. Glitter stays where glitter goes, matte stays where matte goes, but now I love a very blended eye like this. Honestly, the more I look at it, this is a really good option for a Valentine's Day look. So if you guys are going to my for Valentine's Day, Galentine's, try this look out because I think it will definitely work for that occasion as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair off camera really quick. I will be back in just a few to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, I just finished getting ready. So here is the final look. I just did a quick blowout, gold jewelry. And then tonight I'm just wearing this black bodysuit. Pretty much all black. It's just kind of in the vibe lately. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup tutorial. If you guys did, let me know down below. And let me know what you guys want to see in some upcoming videos. I know I talked earlier about doing a makeup bridal trial on myself, which I think has to happen because we need to do that. Um, but also hair tutorials, testing makeup, whatever it is. I read a majority of the comments, so I love getting you guys' feedback on things that you guys want. So let me know down below. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're off to date night and I'll see you guys later. Bye.